Welcome back, my Shape of Origin friends. Today, I want to talk about an important topic, which is cutting precision. One of my viewers left a comment explaining that he's experiencing some problems with the cutting precision. His comment said, in order to achieve maximum accuracy, it is important that the origin points in the same direction when milling as when scanning the dominoes. I recently scanned in one direction and while working then turned the origin 180 degrees and pointed at the dominoes I had scanned to and then worked. The result was an unbelievable 4 mm deviation. When I read this comment I knew what he was talking about. Um, and it's actually not connected to the scanning direction um, of when you scan the dominoes. It's related to an other problem. And I kind of don't know why I never made a video about this because it's actually really important. So before I go into any details, let me show you an experiment I did to explain the problem. Let's assume we want to cut a long rectangle to place a C inlay bar below a table. You see that I put domino tape here on both sides where I want to cut this rectangle. And then I scan the dominoes uh, first like in normal direction, but then I turn it to scan also the ends of where I started the scan. So I am turning the shape of origin by 180 degrees while scanning. After the scan, I place this rectangle that I want to cut and I start cutting. You see that I keep the shape of origin looking in the same direction to um, one side of the dominoes while cutting the first line. Then I go uh, down and I start cutting the second line. But here, reaching about like the middle of this line, I stop and I plunge my router up. And what I do is I turn the shape of origin by 180 degrees and now I plunge it back in and I continue cutting. Now it is important to mention here that this should be possible. You should be able to plunge your router up, turn, like take another position and go down and continue in exactly the same place. This is how things are advertised by Shape of Origin, right? You can work on a really long, really big um, work pieces and um, that usually involves turning your Shape Origin in a lot of different directions. So I continue cutting uh, this line and I finish the rectangle. And now you can see that this led to problems. First of all, you can see here where I plunged the router back in. It's barely visible. It's only small, the deviation. I'm trying to point at this here, but you can see there is a small deviation. And then I continue cutting the rectangle normally, but then at the end where the both lines meet, like where I meet the first um, cutting point, you can see that those lines no longer match. There is a significant deviation and this is not a rectangle. And when we measure this, you can see that there is a deviation by a total of about two millimeters that happened because um, of this. Now, before I go into the reasons for this, let me cut the same rectangle without the um, plunging up and down, so without this interruption, always looking at the same direction where the, um, at the same dominoes. So I did the same, I placed this rectangle and then I started cutting the first line uh, and then when I went back, just to keep everything the same, I plunged the router up and then I plunged the router down and I continued cutting until completing the rectangle. And when I did that, now you see that this rectangle looks perfect. There is no deviation where the lines meet. And if we measure it, then it's pretty much the same. All right, so you've seen there is an effect of this. Now the question is, where does it stem from? 
and it stems from the turning of 180 degrees of the shape or origin and the shape or origin using other dominoes, right? So now you're not keeping the shape origin in the same direction, what I'm um, always looking at the dominoes in the same direction, you actually turn it by 180 degrees and you're using the other dominoes that were on an other part of the scan. And because of that, there seems to be a problem in the orientation and this leads to, to this deviation and giving the length of that cut of like, it was a total the rectangle of 90, uh, 90 centimeters. So about 45 centimeters cut length, that leads to this deviation. And if you don't do that, if you always keep the orientation to the same dominoes and the same orientation, then everything is perfect, right? And so when you, cut like small joints and you cut things on your shape or workstation and these kind of things, you always look at the same direction. So you might not notice this, right? But if you work on a larger piece, then you have this effect. So now the question is why is Shaper not fixing this? And I can obviously not um, explain this because I'm not the developer of this tool nor the software, but in my opinion, this is a bad bug. Right? This is impacting quality of the cuts and should be highest priority on Shaper's list to fix. So it's hard for me to understand why they're doing something like, like auto pass where they are asking us to pay another $200 and they're not fixing table stakes, right? If they advertise that you can take your shape origin to your workpiece and it can be really large right and the big advantage of the shape origin compared to a cnc is actually that you're much more flexible be, uh, with the work pieces right you can bring your shaper to where your work piece is and it can be really large and weird shapes and stuff and whenever you work on something larger you will need to be able to turn your shape origin in different directions while cutting right uh, I do this all the time. I'm not the one who uses shape origin to do a lot of like small joints and, and these kind of things always on the workstation. I actually work on very often on tables and, and, and do like shapes and, and these kind of things. And, um, and that's annoying. It, it's, it's annoying to have this problem. Um, and I do think it means that the shaper is not really holding to the promise that you get when you look um, at the marketing material. Um, so short term for you, it means be really careful uh, when you are uh, using your shape origin and make sure that while cutting, you're trying to keep the orientation to the shape, to the domino tape um, as close to what it is as possible and try to turn it as little as possible because turning your shape origin can lead to distortions. In the mid to long term, in my opinion, it means that a Shaper Tools needs to fix that. I mean, they need to bring an update where we are able to uh, do exactly this, to just rotate our Shaper origin while working. All right, I hope this little video is helpful to you and helps you to uh, make cleaner cuts. If it is helpful, don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and see you around.